In this video, we're going to cover edge snap and scale snap transformation types. These two types are meant to scale or snap a subtool's edge to the grid. Let's look at edge snap first. For example, if I want to snap these sub the subtool edge here to the grid next grid position, all I have to do is press this button. If I want to snap it to the previous grid position, I press this button and so on. So if I want to snap the top edge to this grid position, I use this button. Or the top edge to this grid position, I use this button. So you can see like these controls uh, kind of refer to the different edges. And you also have the diagonal. So they also will snap these two edges to the grid position. Of course, this is dependent on the edge driver. If you have questions about the edge driver, check out the edge driver, um, the edge settings. Check out the Nudge settings video. Like everything in the transformation in the Nudge and Snap sub palette, this is view dependent. So I'm on the top view right here. On the left view, it would work in the same way. So let's look at Scale Snap. And Scale Snap is similar to Edge Snap, but it actually scales your tool to the grid. So if I press this button here, there we go. Or this one, for example, or this one. You kind of scale down the subtool so that the edges match the grid. One thing to keep in mind is that both of these operations, uh, once you scale snap or edge snap, it's already snapped to an edge. So pressing it again, it's not going to do anything because it's already snapped. If from here, for example, I already scaled snap this, if I want to keep scaling with the grid, I can go to grid scale and then move on from there. Same thing with edge snap. Once I've snapped this to an edge, I can go on to grid nudge and carry on working with grid nudge instead. 